Hey, welcome into the ShopFix channel. In this episode, I want to show you how you can easily repair squeaky floors for good. And so in this method, I have access to the subfloor because I recently took off the tile. And so this is a great method to use if you're redoing your flooring and you want to make sure that there's no squeaks in the floor before you put down your new flooring. Stick around. ShopFix, your free online source for everything DIY. Okay, so I want to discuss why the floors are squeaking in the first place so we can better understand how to repair it. So the floors are squeaking because there's a gap between the joist that goes across underneath and the subfloor, which is right here. So to repair this, if you don't have access to the subfloor from the top, then you're gonna simply have to wedge the gap from the bottom. And so you identify where the squeaky is coming from, and then you're gonna wanna wedge it with like a shim on the bottom side, and you can also apply some adhesive to make sure that stays in place. So that's typically what you do from the bottom. However, that's not really a permanent repair. Oftentimes the squeak's gonna come back. A more permanent repair is doing it from the top and I'm gonna show you that method right now and it's gonna almost nearly permanently repair the squeaks. So let's get right to it. So the first step of this repair is to take a stud finder and simply run it along the subfloor to find the floor joists and then mark them with a pencil. During this step, you may be tempted just to simply reference the original nails that held down the subfloor. However, the reason why your floor is squeaking in the first place is because these nails aren't holding down the subfloor properly and might not be aligned to the floor joist, so it's always good to double check that with a stud finder. Okay, so now that we've marked where the joists are located underneath the subfloor, we're going to take a drill with a countersink bit to countersink the subfloor so we can inlay a screw and the screw head won't be sticking out too far above the subfloor. That way it's nice and flush and ready for new flooring. There isn't a specific type of screw that you necessarily need to use. However, you need to make sure that it's plenty long enough to get a good grip of the floor joist underneath. Driving these screws down into the floor joist will pull the subfloor tight against the top of the floor joist and eliminate any of those squeaks. In the process of driving these screws down into the floor joist, it might lower the subfloor just a bit and make the original nails sit proud above the surface, and you'll need to tap those back into place. Once you've mounted a screw through the subfloor and into the floor joist, everywhere that the floor is squeaking, then you want to go ahead and test out and make sure that you've got all the squeaks. Well, my friends, that's all there is to it. And now we have a floor that's completely squeak free and should be squeak free for years to come. If you enjoyed this video and found the tips helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the ShopFix channel. See you in the next video.